That was an astonishing clip of Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp, and now I'm here with Steph Ceretti. You are the visual effects supervisor for Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes. So where do you even start with something like that? Well, we do, I mean, it's always the same thing, you know, we start with a previs, which is kind of an animated version of the film before we shoot it, and that gives us all the, the information we need in terms of what we need to shoot, what is the scale, and we work with the stunt people as well to establish you know, which moments are going to be stunts, uh, when do we transition to a CG character, and when we go macro, like very, very, very small, what kind of cameras we're going to use. The challenge with shooting these shots is being a quarter of an inch close to the surface of the table, which you can't do with a camera. So we keep all the environment, the table and everything, but we take out the table that she's sliding in so that we can put the camera at the right height we can then recreate the table and have her kind of slide on the table. We wanted to have a couple more hits on the table as she was going just to make the, it more dangerous for her. So we added the you know, CG hammer kind of hammering closer to her as she goes through the shot. So all of these kind of mixture of real photography, CG character animation, CG environment, um, CG simulation of that tomato getting splashed. We added a few carrots, I think. Um, <laughs> What we do on most Marvel films, uh, we scan all the actors in their costume, without their costume, so that we have a really good 3D scan of everything. So it's all built based off their real, you know, sizes, and we have to recreate the costume, make sure that they wrinkle correctly, you know, when they when you have motion and <laughs> muscles, you know, all that stuff. It's it's quite complex to actually be able to recreate um, our real life characters and make sure that they don't feel like they're just animated puppets. So did Evangeline, Lily and Paul Rudd ever meet in real life? Not for this scene. Wow. <laughs> Not for this scene. In a classroom that is a real classroom from a real location, but he's small. But you can't, obviously, you can't shoot him in that location at the same time. Because we play with size, it's all about the size cues that you can, you can give to the actors and, you know, playing around with the props that they're touching. They exchange a backpack. And the backpack, we had two different sizes. Uh -huh. We had the real size, which is, you know, normal backpack for a kid. And we had a version of the backpack that was double the size <laughs> that had been uh, made by the props people. That must um, be so funny to yeah. see in the props department, all the different yes, scales of exactly. props. Yes, exactly. And the complexity of the scene is that he takes the backpack and then he gives it back to to Evangeline, but they didn't do it at the same time. He was carrying the big backpack, she was carrying the small backpack, and right in the middle we transitioned with a CG backpack. That is mind-blowing. Well, let's take a look at our next clip. This is another, this is when they go out of the school. Um, and that's another very complicated shot, actually. So we were in, on location in Atlanta, and we shot that big shot of, of him coming down the stairs, but we didn't have anybody here. And then what we do, we then do the match move, which is re knowing exactly where the camera is in that 3D space. So we have a virtual camera now that knows exactly where the camera is. And then we had to rebuild on stage the stairs but double the size so that Paul could go down the stairs with exactly the same steps and everything so they had to be very precisely built to match what we had on location but just be double and then here he goes into the van and same thing the seat in the van and the steps going into the van had to be very precisely made so that he would step exactly at the right place so it's all it's all a, a big like mixture of as you can see the, lots of departments working together to get the shots like lighting, camera, props, and then you know, costume. I just yeah. imagine somebody with a ruler. That would be my personal <laughs> nightmare to have to make it all. It perfect. is very precise. They have to be really precise. We do 3D scans of everything mm -hmm. so they, they know exactly where is what, you know. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You guys go see Marvel Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp in theaters now.